In Mexico, we have gatherings called posadas, which translates, translates into shelter and commemorates the journey that Joseph and Mary made in search of a safe place where Mary could give birth to baby Jesus. Traditionally, in a neighborhood, people are divided into groups visiting selected homes with the group outside representing Mary and Joseph and the ones inside representing the innkeepers. Then everyone sings the Posada litany together, reenacting Mary and Joseph's petition for shelter, going back and forth until, until they're finally admitted. And then finally, um, we throw a party, we share drinks, we share food, tamales, uh, and we break a piñata. Uh, towards the end of the posada, everyone's given an aguinaldo or bolo. Well, mainly children, but everyone gets one. Uh, my friend Nora is going to show it. So this is a modern bolo. You can see it has the Christmas, Christmas decorations, and it's just filled with all kinds of delicious candy. And this is a modern version. In the past, you would just get a bag with candy and maybe an orange and some peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. And you know, when I would get home, I barely had any candy. So, uh, and um, we also have Marathon Guadalupe Reyes, which is a marathon of holiday celebrations with festivities officially starting on December 12th, celebrating the feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe up until Three Kings Day on January 6th. In the future, if you visit Mexico during this time, expect to eat, drink, celebrate a lot, and gain several pounds or kilos. Well, in other areas in, um, in Mexico, they get their presents from baby Jesus on Christmas or from the Three Kings on January 6th. It's not unusual to mix Christmas decorations that include both a Santa, a Santa theme and a birth of Jesus theme. For example, um, nativity sets are a central part of most Mexican households during the holidays. The nativity is set up in early December, but baby Jesus is kept away until Christmas when he is placed in his bed, where he remains until at least January 6th. Um, for Christmas, extended families gather on Christmas Eve to enjoy a nice meal together, um, sing, dance, and have a good time. In my family, we usually eat around 9 p.m., the table is set up as nicely as possible and everybody dresses up. When the meal is done, it's time to open presents. And then on Christmas, um, Christmas Day, we usually just have a lazy day eating leftovers, which we call recalentado, and spending time together. So today I will show you what is a piñata and how you can make a piñata at home. So, here is my piñata. A piñata, ah, remember something, there is no Mexican fiesta without a piñata, so make sure you have a piñata from, uh, to your next party. So, a piñata is a figure traditional made with a clay pot decorated with colored tissue paper. It is filled with candies, chocolates, fruits, or whatever you want to put inside, maybe money, uh, so, long time ago, it was uh, like a temptation to fall into uh, the scenes. But right now, it's uh, to get some fun in the parties. So, how it works? So, at parties, the uh, piñata is suspended from a rope, and then a child gets a stick and hits into the piñata. Children take turns hitting the piñata until it breaks and all the candies are on the floor so children can run and take all the candies on the floor. So let's see how to make a piñata. You need a balloon, you need scissors, you need newspaper, a lot of newspaper, and some glue, any kind of glue. So, step one, blow up your balloon. Step two. You need to cut your newspaper into stripes. Step three, you need to take the newspaper and just put some glue and put it in your balloon. You need to cover all the balloon with all the newspaper and you need to 
cover at least with three or four layers. Then you need to uh, leave it dry. Make sure you put a hole in the middle so you can put your candles inside. And then you leave it uh, for 24 hours. And after, uh, when it is dry, you can uh, paint it or just decorate it with some kind of color tissue tape. Have fun. Yes, uh, well, in Mexico, we have a lot of rituals uh, and traditions, which are believed to bring good luck, uh, prosperity, love, and blessings for the new year. So let's start with the crates. Uh, at midnight, when the countdown begins, we eat 12 grapes. Each grape represents one month of the year, so you need to make a wish for each month. So, for example, uh, a new job, a new husband, um, then uh, in Mexico they say that if you want to have a lot of uh, good luck uh, with love and passion, you need to wear something new, red, and then they say they said that if you want to have a lot of good luck with happiness and prosperity, you need to wear something yellow. Uh, if you want to start your year uh, clean and without any bad uh, energy, you need to clean your house. So you need to sweep all your house mainly outside of your house so you can put out all the bad energies of the past year and finally and my favorite is uh if you want to travel you need to take an empty suitcase and just run outside your house uh one block two blocks uh it depends how far you want to travel the next year so adios Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad.